What's happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish and today we are showcasing for the first time the Spawn Super Worm. We got them in all kinds of different colors here and we are going to showcase just how to rig some of these up. There's going to be a million ways that people do this uh, and we can't wait to see how you guys interpret this product. Uh, fly tying is really cool in that retrospect. But as you guys can see, this teeters the edge of fly tying. And I wouldn't say that we're infamous for that, but the amount of times I've been told that's not a fly is far too many to count. But what we are gonna do here is get people tying. Whether they're using a conventional rod or a fly rod, replicating what people do that brings success across all fisheries is what, what we want to bring to the vise. So we're gonna really showcase that today. And this may look very familiar to you guys. Uh, that bass fish, more or less, is a Ned rig. So we're gonna show you how to rig this up. And to do so, we will use the PR378 from A-Rex, size two. You can use all the different sizes. We're just gonna be using a size two. So these super worms, come in one giant worm. There's gonna be four in a pack. They will also come with a couple other products that I will show you here in a second. But what we were gonna do here is you basically get two tails. So there's a taper, as you can see, these are exactly like our spawn polywog tails. So that is about a good length, just the half. We want these to be really long. Uh, and we want these to be really long. We want these to have a lot of kick and we are very excited to showcase that. So we are going to start some thread wraps here. And just build up a little bit of thread here on this hook. And then we will get after it. So as I was just showing you guys, finished product here. This is what it looks like. So super simple, it takes about one second to tie these up. So all we're gonna do is take the Spawn Super Worm and we're gonna tie this behind the eye on top of the hook shank. Got a couple wraps there securing it. And you and you can get crazy with this. We're gonna just use one material on this which is super worm, but you could tie some feathers up here, you could tie some semi seal up here, you could add a spawn head, you could add a football bead, you could make it, um, you could throw like a woo tungsten in front of it, you could put a tungsten bead prior, there's just so many ways and that's one thing that's just so cool about the ability when you create something on a vise and that is continually what we want to push is get people tying. All right, so in each pack, this might be very familiar to you guys that have had bad teeth, like myself, had braces for many years. This is what those are. So we're gonna take one of those, put it over the barb, and just pop that off. That is secure on there. And this is gonna act as a point to hold that tail in place here. So what we're gonna do next I'll see if I can do this in the vise, is we're gonna go, we're gonna take this here, it's a threader, this will also come in the pack. We're gonna thread that through, like so. Hope you guys can see that. See the threader there? We're gonna take that tail, or worm, and we're gonna pull that sucker through.
just like so. I hope you guys can see that. Yahtzee. Well, there we go. So that's going to work as a system that holds it into place while you're fishing it. Uh, it'll also drop down as soon as that fish clearly chomps onto it. And we've got a bit of a messy eye here, but we're just going to clean this up a little bit. Whip finish. Give the tail a little bit of a roast. And we're good to go. And that is the tied Ned Rig in about a minute like you could really realistically I mean this video is more than a minute but you could tie these really really fast throw on some zappa gap or head cement I'm just gonna dab a little bit on there and move it around And there we have it. That is how you do it. Really, really simple. Um, I don't have a lighter with me, so we will do that later. As you guys know and have uh, gotten your hands on some of our spawn polywog tails, these are very, very similar. So that's how you do it here. That is a Ned rig created on a vise, which is what we are hoping to inspire people to do. And like I said, a million ways you could do this. I had, had all kinds of different ways to tie these on or tie these in. And we cannot wait to see what you guys create. If you guys have any questions about these, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. And we will do our very best to answer. We will have countless colors finalizing those right now. And we cannot wait to have you try these. Thank you very much and have a great day.